Hey, it's Chris Allingham with the Virtual Weber Bullet with a review of Sadler's Smokehouse Beef Brisket Mesquite Smoked, pre-cooked and sliced, ready to eat. Now you may be familiar with the name Sadler's, but maybe you don't know why. Do you read articles written by Daniel Vaughn, the barbecue editor of Texas Monthly Magazine? Well, a couple years ago, he wrote an article about Sadler's Smokehouse because they were providing all the brisket for those brisket sandwiches at Arby's nationwide. They were actually having kind of a, a negative impact on the brisket supply across America because Arby's through Sadler Smokehouse in Texas was consuming so much brisket for their featured sandwiches. So this is a product made by Sadler. You can get it at Walmart. I have found it in two different flavors and sizes. This is the smaller size and it is mesquite smoked it says right here on the package there's a larger size which is like this one is uh just for reference this is 1.3 pounds there's a larger one which is like three pounds much longer sliced the same way but it is hickory smoked and i would have preferred to have tried the hickory smoked version but at least where i live mesquite is this size and hickory is the much longer larger size so this is the one i'm going to be taste testing today it comes vacuum packed. This package, as I said, was 1.3 pounds. It's uh, $12.97 a pound. So this little package is $17 and change. It says to keep it refrigerated before you open it up. On the calorie side, it's 260 calories per serving and a serving is three ounces. As far as ingredients go, I see beef brisket, water, salt, sodium phosphates, black pepper, paprika, red pepper, garlic, a, excuse me, garlic blend of salt, cornstarch, and garlic powder. So not too bad on the ingredient side of things. Here I've removed the label from the package so you can get a closer look at how the brisket looks inside the package. You can see clearly a smoke ring across the top, a little knob of fat on the left, and a thin layer of fat across the bottom. Okay, let's crack this guy open and see what we find inside. And here's a close-up view of the slices. Okay, I've got a slice. I've uh, heated it up in the microwave. Looks like a piece of bacon actually, but it's not. I'm gonna try it. Let me show you how tender it is here. You know, you get a sense of the tear test here. It's, uh, you know, it is sliced across the grain. It's a little bit, a little bit stretchy. It tastes okay. Um, it actually has a you know a cured look, a little bit of a cured taste to it. We just go back to the ingredients label again here: brisket, water, salt, sodium phosphates, black pepper, paprika, red pepper, garlic, and a salt a garlic blend, which is salt, cornstarch, garlic powder. Maybe it's the sodium phosphates. I'll have to look that up and see if that's what actually gives that kind of cured effect, but it does have... Hey, just a few words about the sodium phosphate. I looked it up online. It's not a curing agent, but it's used sometimes in processed meat to help it retain moisture. And as you know, brisket is notorious for drying out as it sits around and as you reheat it. My guess is it's been added to this brisket to help it retain moisture when you get it home and reheat it. It does have sort of that redness to it that you associate with maybe more like corned beef rather than regular smoked brisket. Now the taste is not objectionable. It's pretty good. One of the big tests for me is a brisket sandwich. So let me make a brisket sandwich and we'll come back with some comments about how that worked out. Okay, back with the brisket sandwich. Four slices on here, a little bit of barbecue sauce. Let me check it out. It is bite through. I wasn't sure it was gonna be. You know, it's better on a sandwich than just by itself. 
I think my criticism though is that the slices are a little bit thick. I'd like to see them thinner on a brisket sandwich, that's my preference. This is kind of a thick slice and um, it's thick, kind of like thick cut bacon. So um, if you like thick brisket on a sandwich, you might like this, but I'd like to be a little bit thinner. But I'm not gonna kick it out of bed either. Hey, as I'm editing this video, I realize I wanna clarify the comment I just made about the thickness of these brisket slices. I'd like these slices from Sadler to be thinner for this sandwich because the brisket, as you saw earlier, it didn't do very well in the pull test. It's not particularly tender. So when you have tougher brisket, you need to slice it even thinner in order for it to eat tender. When you make a perfectly cooked brisket in the backyard and it's tender so that it holds together but pulls apart easily, you usually cut that brisket about, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch thick, maybe a little bit more. When your brisket's overdone, it falls apart, it's, it's crumbly, you cut it really thick. But when brisket is, is undercooked, like this Sadler brisket is, you need to cut it really thin. And this eighth of an inch slice, I think I describe it here as being like thick cut bacon, it's too thick given its doneness. So I'd like to see it sliced probably half as thick or maybe even thinner, more like a, a thinly shaved brisket. I think it would serve this product a lot better. So let's wrap up on Sadler's Smokehouse pre-cooked, pre-sliced, mesquite smoked brisket. Uh, I'm gonna give it a B minus or a C plus. Uh, it's all right. Uh, it's not fabulous, but it's not horrible. I think there may be a use for this at home if you don't have the time to make brisket or you don't have the inclination or the experience or can't find good quality brisket where you live. Uh, if you find this at Walmart, it may do in a pinch. Having said that, I think that with some work and experience, you can make brisket at home that is much better than this particular product. Well, that concludes this review of Sadler's Smokehouse Brisket. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you very much. If you have other things you'd like me to review, please send those ideas in at the email address you see on the screen. And please like and subscribe to my videos on YouTube. I appreciate that very much. It helps other people find my videos. So until next time, take care everybody. Bye-bye.